Hello friends, today we will be discussing Underwood model of traffic flow. In my two earlier sessions, I have discussed Green Shield model, which assumes a linear relationship between speed and density. That is u is equal to uf into 1 minus k upon kj where uf is the free flow speed, kj is the jump density, this is uf and this is kj and between these two limits the speed changes with the density linearly. So, this is the stream speed and this is the density. Now, this model is very simple to apply but it has certain limitations because it assumes a linear relationship between speed and density which does not hold true across all traffic conditions, especially during high densities. To address this problem, Greenberg suggested a logarithmic model that is u is equal to u0 or a constant c into ln k upon kj. This was Greenberg model, which I discussed in detail in my earlier session. Now, this model is like this. Because here, when the density is zero, then speed becomes infinite. So, this is not a good model, although Greenberg model gives a better goodness of fit as compared to green shield equation, but it is not applicable for light traffic conditions or light traffic density conditions because it estimates that the speed at zero density is infinite. To further improve this Greenberg model, in 1961 Underwood suggested an exponential, exponential relationship between speed and density and this is like this that speed is given by free flow speed x, x e to the power minus k upon k naught. Now this k naught here is optimum density, density at maximum flow. Now again here if you look at it when you take u is equal to 0 then in that case uf into e to the power minus k upon k naught will be equal to 0 or k will be infinite. So, speed becomes 0 only when density is very high, very close to infinity. So, this relationship will be like this. Here when k is taken equal to 0, then u is uf, free flow speed. So, this point is defined, free flow speed. But when u is taken 0, then k becomes infinite. So, this point is not defined here. So, this is not a good model or this does not predict the speed at high densities. That is the weakness of this Underwood model. So, if you compare the three models, this is Green Shield equation which is a straight line between a speed and density. This is Greenberg model which is not applicable for light traffic conditions and this is Underwood model which is not applicable for heavy traffic density conditions. Now, this equation, this equation u is equal to u into f e to the power minus k upon k naught can also be used to find out the capacity. And you know that Q is equal to K into V or K into U or Q is K into U F into e to the power minus K upon K naught. And if you differentiate this equation with respect to K and put it equal to 0, you can find out what will be the optimum density. U F into k into e to the power k upon k 0 into 1 minus k naught 
plus e to the power minus k upon k 0 into 1. That is differentiation with respect to k. And for maximum flow, this must be equal to 0. And that will give you u f into e to the power k upon k naught into k minus k upon k 0 plus 1 equal to 0 or k is equal to k 0. That means this is optimum density at which the flow will be maximum k0. k becomes equal to k0. And if you substitute the value of k here equal to k0, then the in this equation, if you put k is equal to k0, then it will be u is uf into e to the power minus 1 or you can say optimum speed will be free flow speed upon e. So, maximum flow on the road will occur when density is optimum and speed is free flow speed upon E. So, that is the capacity. So, Q max is U f into K naught upon E. That is the capacity of the road as per Underwood model. Let me take one example. Let us say u is equal to 80 into e to the power minus 100 k upon 100. That is the equation of speed flow on a section of the road. What is the capacity of this section? And this is now as per this equation, this is now free flow speed uf is 80 and this is the optimum density k naught that is 100. And therefore, capacity will be 80 into 100 upon E, 2.713. And that is 2,943 vehicles per hour. This is the capacity of the road. You can find out a speed at any density because you know the free flow speed and you know optimum density also. You can find out what will be the speed at any density. But again, as I told you, this equation is not valid for very high density conditions. Now, let me take one more example. Example 2. A speed on a section of highway is 50 km per hour at a density of 60 vehicles per kilometer. And Another observation indicated that speed is 80 km per hour at a density of 25 km vehicles per kilometer. Assuming that the traffic flow follows Underwood model, find out the capacity of this section. So, the equation of Underwood model is that u is equal to uf into e to the power k upon k naught. When you can take log of this ln u is ln uf minus k upon k 0. So, when u is 50 that is ln 50 is ln uf minus density is 60 because k naught is not known that is equation number 1. And similarly, you can write another equation that ln of 80 is ln uf minus 25 upon k 0. That is equation number 2. And you can now solve these two equations to get the value of uf and k 0. So, if you subtract these two equations, you get ln 50 minus ln 80 is equal to 25 upon k 0 minus 60 upon k 0 and that gives you k 0 is equal to 74.5 vehicles per kilometer. Remember this is the density at capacity at maximum flow. If you substitute this value k 0 
in this equation or in this equation at the first equation or second equation you get uf uf is 111.88 kilometer per hour now you know the optimum density you know free flow speed the capacity of this section will be q max which is equal to k0 into uf upon e or 74.5 into 111.88 into 2.713 and that is 3066 vehicles per hour. That is the capacity of the section. So that is how you can use Underwood model. Underwood model provides better fit than Green Shield and Greenberg model, the field data. But the only weakness of this model is that it is not applicable or it does not, does not predict correct speed at very high density. So friends, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write in the comment box.